Sorry about that. I just wanted to set up the goal. Your healing... The healing power of the sacred stone is your only hope for saving your daughter. You must travel to the nearest Minar. Where'd the nearest Mihar be? Hmm. Nearest Mihar is there. That's where we need to go. The Northern Road is our best bet. The ridge has been washed away in a spring flood. There is no way forward. Ah, shit. Just wasted some sixies going that way. Now we have to waste them going this way. That's embarrassing. Hordes of Northerns are already marching across the lands of the Five Kingdoms. Looks like there's a war going on in the other part of the land. We have to go this way. Pixies will protect us from dying in this battle. They'll protect you from the plague. The road curves. From a distance, you can already make out the watchtower. The residents of guard and toll collectors, a ghastly scene of a recent felony is underfoot. A ransacked cart in a murdered family. Husband hacked down, wife raped and strangled, and a baby crushed on the ground. A bloody trail leads to the watchtower. He wipes the sweat off his brow with his sleep. Damn nation! Who could have done this? And where did the bandits come from? Trouble just started, and here they are. Lucas, the thugs must have gone to the tower. They probably have their eye on the troll collector's money to hand. Demanding science, and you take a closer look at the victims. A few minutes late, the blood is still fresh. The bastards who did couldn't have reached the tower yet. Let's push through and kill them. Dismount your horses before the fight. There's no getting new mounts, so we'll best spare the ones we have. That's not long before you catch up to the murderers. They don't expect to see armed band, but they wreck quickly and scurry towards the forest. You're not letting them go. She has less health due to injuries. Minor injury. She has a minor injury which will lower her, her health by a bit. Archer. Gotta kill him first or we'll be getting picked off from afar. That's not a great way to go. Hmm. Move him here. Thorin must go here. We need warriors on our side. She's injured, so she should be in the back. Archer should stay in the front for now. Of my archer. They have magic. We have to kill these men.
Don't worry, dude, you'll be fine. Damn, that hurt. Guy quick. Oh, I'm going to be attacked. <coughs> oh. <coughs> <coughs> her again. She suffered another injury. Oh, no. No, not pray. any moves for now. I have to move here for now. I've injured their group and killed a couple of their <coughs> men, but oh, that is nasty. The assassin has to move. It's alright, though. Kill these guys off quickly or we're gonna be over one. <laughs> mm. Damn, we're taking way too many hits here. Stun this unit so can't move. 
Ooh, that was energy. Was that magic? Oh no. Oh. I'm stuck here. Activate dodge. Nothing I can do. Oh, damn! Here, we're several injuries here. Severe injuries. Damn, our party's just getting annihilated here. See, it's mistakes like this. This game is hard. If you play on story mode, it's not as hard. <laughs> but I want a challenge. And I think anyone who wants to play this game should play it on this challenge. It's hard. You'll lose a lot, but it's fun. <laughs> oh. Injured on our side, lots of injured, and some dead, probably. <laughs> ah, I got injured. <laughs> I'm pretty sure injuries will eventually lead to death in a fight like this. The fight is over and you glance at the tower. It is not far. The sounds of battle must have carried well, for yet no one rushed to your aids. And on the other hand, what can a guard or two do against a gang of thieves? Still wondering about that. You tell your companions to ride to the tower. Ooh, finally made it. You find the gates of the tower open and no one can watch on watch. You turn to Kingsler confused. Kingsler lights around. Is this what they call guard duty? Where is everyone? Stein should be on watch and he's supposed to be reliable. And where's the toll collector? For God's sake, what's going on? Stein! You cut your friend short. Stop yelling. No need to attract attention. Go see if anyone's seriously injured. That Sad. Got a couple scratches, nothing serious. You rushed at them like a wild beast, and everyone followed suit. After everything we've seen, I'll tear this fit to pierce this with my bare hands. You agree? That's almost what happened. All the filth that was done on the land is now showing its ugly face. I'm sure. Well, let's have a look around. I don't like this place. Hold, Brent, Fint, you got some perp snooping around. You command, check by the river, just be sneaking about it. And if we don't find anyone near the tower, we ride on. Let me go with heart. Snoop suggests, who knows what kinds of crazies lurk around the tower. Our boys will need me to fend them off. Soldiers draw their weapons and circle the tower. You notice Snoop walking in front, obviously shielding Horde. Did you see that, pal? You ask Kingsler. Snoop's running around Horde like a little dog, and Horde just turns up his nose. Kind of a strange friendship. Kingsler laughs. Agreed. You know the nickname Snoop got in Spaldron? Call it Hopper. He's kind of a fellow, very obedient and water working, but as soon as Horde's on the horizon, troubles a beauty. You shake your head. Youngins. Always have to keep them an eye on them until the fighting toughens them up. 
go take a look at the tower. Get it, Fisk, you're with me. Examining the tower, there's blood on the rocks, the gate's broken from the inside. Seems someone was killed here, Kingsler. Someone, you say? I think it's obvious. Plus, either the toll collector, the second watchman, or Stein. I forget who it's dispatched. Wise words, Captain. What are we standing here for? Waiting for those madmen to storm out of the city? But where should we run off to? We must first get to the bottom of this. I don't want to get into even more shite. We're knee deep as it is. Maybe it isn't the reaping at all. We need to hide. Always works for me, at least. You like to hide your ass, daring one of y'all blunders, benders, huh? Huh? Where did you get you? You're a drunken fool, Fliss. And if it's the reaping, you can't hide. Doubly true if it isn't. Don't worry. They'll easily find us. Why would they keep looking for us? Not like it done anything wrong. Killed a couple of city folk, but it was like self-defense. Uh. Yeah, try telling that to the city officials. I rather control my own fate, thank you very much. I don't want to crawl into a hole and get burnt to a crisp like some kind of pest. Okay. Say, Krinker, where to? Well, returning to the city is definitely a bad idea. We barely got out away with our lives. I think we need to look for some secret stones. It's not that far, especially on horseback. I think you're smart. This, the moment people realize what's going on, they all rush to the Minar. Let's ride to the stone further away, shall we? Not many people there, just a small stockade, and at the nearest stone, you'll get too many pilgrims from the near villages and towns. <sighs> it's too risky. Who knows how long our 60s are gonna last? What if we are gonna got a day left or something? Let's get to the nearest Minar by the Denrod village. It's too risky. Oh wait, I read that already. I think that's enough talk. You already found someone. Here they come. Well, at least Sergeant Stein's still alive. Let's ask him. Looking his belt with shaking hands. Is this an inspection, Kingsa? What's going on? It's been a wasteland for half a day, and there's a crowd. Why didn't you stay in the tyrant? <laughs> Where are you living, chief? What in the place is going on? Stein breaks into a grin and shuts one wing of the gate. It's forged on the front side. It's half the same mark on you saw on the gate. Drawing his sword. Stop! Don't touch the second one. You don't want to kill us, you son of a bitch. You'll awaken the curse if you do it. Let's learn. Don't think so, I'm any anymore. I don't care what he meant. I just don't want to lose my mind, especially around you. Hmm. Rubbing the bark of his neck. I'll lose it happily. Better enduring this blasted pain. Tell me, what happened in this town? Is something wrong with the road? Hmm. I see you're casting your neck. It's burning, isn't it? How are you holding up? Do you have a six? You need the strips. The last of the ice I picked from under the rocks really helps. Put some on your neck and you'll feel better. You'll be fit to stand guard again. Tell us what happened at your post. The mark doesn't draw itself. I feel what symbols like the temple sassy. I noticed that I saw a scary creature. Me and a troll collector both clashed where we stood. Rim was upstairs and I heard him fall too. Luckily he didn't fall out of the window. The speed got to the gate and drew some kind of mark. It's as if it burned it in. My neck felt like it was on fire. It burned its great teeth and stood us. We were all done for. Well, as far as words, maybe I was just hearing things. Something. You're lucky you're still one piece. I You hear us calling you? I don't care who was calling. I was just packing ice left on the stone. And if you don't believe me, hold a knife over a fire and press it to your neck, then you'll see how you'll respond. So you're packing ice on your watch. Don't you have anything else to do? You want me to check non-existent cards? The only people I saw today were Risk the Merchant, with that weird axe of his, and a dozen 
guards chasing after a single piece of luggage. Mm. I wish stuff come with us. I want to live the rest of my days in a way that I won't feel shameful. Will not abandon my post, and neither should you. So what are you accusing us of, Zion? I won't judge you, Thorn, especially considering you're retired. However, shouldn't kings are be in charge of soldiers and guards in Arbius? <sighs> and kill our own guards and townspeople already killing each other. No, I'm going to not take part in this massacre. And <laughs> like Cap Howard, he should be sorting out the mess in town, not rambling safely. I manage it myself, Thorn. Thanks, and King Sir will definitely spend the rest of his days behind bars. <sighs> there he is. Then you can just drop dead right here. You don't want to get to the Minar in two days and stay alive then? Eat shit then. Nothing to do here anymore, Thorn. Let's go. A couple leaks away from the tower. He calls you over. I have a feeling that that sergeant is going to blame us for the murder of a toll collector. Be safer to just kill him. To tell things are off, but then you stop yourself. Stein isn't a bad person to find some tolerable manner. On the other hand, guards chasing after you. Forget about this suggestion. You look at Kunzar and shake your head. Sorry, pal. Killing someone accidentally or in self-defense is one thing, but killing an innocent just so he doesn't get in the way is out of question. The captain stuffles his head. You're probably right. I'm just getting too jumpy from all the shit we've been through. I'll soon be lashing out at people myself. Gotta let go before some other bullshit finds its way to my head. down the road, everything seems quiet, suddenly one of the pack horseshoes slips out at something, breaks the reins and bolts away, this spooks all the other horses, they buck and rear, it takes a lot of effort to calm down your nervous mounts, but the runaway horse is gone with all its luggage, it's time searching for it, look for the nearest rush. You decide to move on, losing some of your valuables is better than the risk of going off track. You explain to your comrades that their lives are worth more than the gold or plunder. It reminds them again how lucky you are you have them leading them. We have to get to that village or we're screwed. A lone horseman comes into sight at the outskirts of Dornfound Village. His horse Barely trudges long. It looks like it galloped without rest. The rider just as exhausted doesn't notice you until you catch up to him. Kingsa raises himself in the stirrup, stares at the traveler, and shouts, Well, if it isn't Rublin, wait, you knucklehead. You! Don't you recognize your commander? Taken aback, the lad hunches his shoulders, but then sighs in relief when he recognizes Kingsler. Hello, Captain Kingsler. What brings you here? On my way home. Not that far it is, in fact and scans nearby horses. Your village isn't going anywhere, and your horse needs some rest anyhow. You ride the poor thing to death, you bonehead. Get off before it crushes you. Off the horse and the exhausted animal collapses. You get the young guard a scrum phone glance and dismount in order to talk to him. You catch your breath, boy. Take it easy. Now tell me one thing. We passed a dozen heron laps yesterday. Didn't see a single person. Do you know what's going on? <laughs> Canting. Don't know. I didn't stop by any harmlets. In fact, I didn't stop at all. <sighs> Why didn't you abandon your post? Broken Stein already. He told us about a crazy great creature, about you breaking the gate, and about the crazy toll collector too. He wants to know your side of the story. 
The trickers went, so the toll collector went mad, but Stein's all right. Gods be praised. I was so scared to go back because I thought the two of them might kill me. What now? Do I have to go back to the watchtower? Go visit your grandma first. It's not far. You'll manage on foot. Consider a short leave from Stein. Tell me, why didn't you go to Arbius for help? I was so shaking with fright. I chose the familiar path to my home village without thinking. When I came to my senses, it was easy to keep going. My grandma's great healer. Maybe she'll help me with the mark on my neck, and if she can't, the menorah's nearby. So the place has gone to you, too. I doubt a village healer can help cure it. Go straight to the menorah after you visit your grandma. It's safer that way. We don't have a spare horse, so you'll have to walk like King Glard suggested. If you notice anything strange on your way, the footprints, maybe. Lots of them. Looks like a party on horseback, larger than yours. I don't see them even though I rode without rest, but my guess is that they're heading for the Minor. <sighs> Notice that too. I can't imagine our company this could be. It's too big for a Bardarian Prowl. Could be bandits. I hope they don't find their way into your village. Never seen any bandits in these parts. We're not rich, and there are several bows and lances in every home. They lose more than they'll gain. And there's also a watch the Minor, and they'll come to our aid. Alright, we'll deal with these mysterious horsemen later. How did you ever manage to ride for so long? <sighs> well, I know sort of an incantation. Bucks you up a bit. Learned it from my grandma. She's one of the vendors after it, so they know their stuff. <sighs> Can you back us up? <laughs> Not yet. Too tired. I can pick up a weakling compared to my grandma. She's very skilled. She also got special powders and protests. See your grandma on the way back. I hope she sells us and can keep us healthy. See her. Mm. Of course, drop by grandma and then head to the menorah. I suppose I'll return to Stalin afterwards. Don't think me a deserter, Captain. <sighs> Just go already. No one's accusing you of anything. Visit your grandma and return to the watchtower. We're too preoccupied to pair. I like how the loading screen is a bunch of skeletons. It really drives in the point of death in this game. You pass a village, its empty streets strike you as odd. A feeling of foreboding sets in. You shrug it off. Right now, your only goal is Minrar. Everything else comes a second. The villagers must have gathered near the sacred stone. Then says, it's a bloody holiday after all. You agree, relieved. Indeed, villagers near the Minrar is particularly spread between festivals. Lost in thought, you don't immediately hear someone addressing you. Flint. Flint calls to you again, pointing at the road. There's something smoking there, and scavengers circle the black plumes. You slow down to take a closer look. The village is completely empty. Oh shit. A heap of corses rests in the middle of the road. So many bodies, men and women, old and young, even children. There's a scalp call. Some spears sticking out of the ground. The smell of blood makes you lightheaded. You truck closer, pulling back on the reins. Scorched and torn asunder, all the people die without making a sound. Their mouths choked with dirt. Packed limbs lie nearby. You turn around slowly. Gena stands close by, clenching the hilt of her sword. The others stand back, frozen in place. Gilda sobs. She's petrified, unable to get a word out. She runs off on limp limbs, sick to her stomach. You order your men to help Gilda and to keep their distance. A quiet hurl draws your attention. You notice a pregnant woman strongly under the pile of corpse. She's been severely mutilated and won't last without aid. Leave her be. Put her out of her misery. Try to help. She's going to die and I'm going to waste my supplies helping her. Leaving her be would just be cruel. I have to put her out of her misery. 
You approached a woman and lean towards her. Close your eyes if you want to die. You whisper. She complies. You put her out of her misery with a quick blow from your sword. As you mount your horse, you feel your companion's questioning eyes upon you. It was the survivor, you say, with great effort. Wanted to end it all. They couldn't say no. And it continues another silence. You'll never be able to tell anyone that you kill a pregnant woman without even trying to save her child. Sticking to your plan worth such a grave sacrifice? She wasn't probably going to survive. And her child probably wasn't either. Plus, we cannot have babies on this road. It's just not going to work out that way. It's a stone. Maybe it'll heal us. We are pretty badly injured. You stop your company on a bridge. There are suspicious figures on the other side. The watchman's body is hung nearby. The memoir itself is soaked with blood. You see a man being forced onto the stone. He then falls to the ground, growling in pain. Flint goes pale. Are these insiles? The old chronicles call them abominations. I read about them. We others have enchanted blades that can fly. Your time is upon us. You draw your sword. They've noticed us. Be on your guard. They're no fools either. Gathering near the bridge, you will have to dismount. Sw don't swarm them. You only get in each other's way. Flink gives you orders. Don't let Flink rush onto the bridge with his spear held high. He's yelling some nonsense about Kurt. What to do but order an attack and rush out onto him. You don't expect such mentor from your, from your guard, but he's first to the bridge. He got severely injured on our side. We get some upgrades though. Hmm. Five plus the health. I'd say yes. Version three to call. Oh yes, I forgot to tell you. I forgot to tell you that people in this game you can upgrade if you kill enough soldiers, you'll eventually be able to to upgrade your men. But you see right here. Injuries. I believe that three injuries kills your your unit. So you have to be extremely careful about how you lead your men in a battle. Injuries are pretty deliberating. If they suffer too many injuries, they die. I believe. But as of right now, I have too many injured people that won't be very effective in a fight. So I have to replace a couple that are injured. I don't have enough men to replace the injured, so I need... Giving her more health will let us survive a little bit longer. Oh no, these soldiers exist. Mm, this is gonna suck. different cards here. I already used touch. I can waste touch of chaos as of now, but I'm going to use a healing spell. No, wait, we don't have, we don't need to heal too much at the moment. No one needs to heal. I 
Ăn uống I'll use this spell right now Oh shit, that was a strong ass attack. Mm. <laughs> oh. It managed to fight back. Oh, it's fighting back. Mm. You gotta be careful, we'll be killed and overrun. I believe I should probably use a spell eventually. Fire sword use a spell and ability. Spellcaster on their side. Move my guys ahead. Activate damage. I think I'll stop the turn for now. <clears throat> oh! Certain abilities allow you to sacrifice health in order to cast them, making your abilities stronger and thus more devastating. They're starting to move forward. Oh, shit! Lost the spearman on our side. Knockback will hurt my men as well, and it won't serve me a purpose at all. <laughs> Killed one. Six health. I lose six health, though. It's not worth it. Do 
Damn it, I can't do this right. I didn't click on what I need to click on earlier. I feel stupid. Ah, oh, we have to break through. Through, we're gonna die. Oh shit, that hurts. Not moving anybody, there's no point. Oh, it sacrificed some of its abilities to hurt me. It acti it activated health. abilities are strong they're just tearing apart our men this guy's gonna hurt oh that that's nasty that is a high amount of health that's nasty that is a nasty hit <clears throat> shit They destroyed our group right here. Nope. I retreat it now so I won't get it. Protect our group. <clears throat> we have to protect our group immediately. We're losing this brutal fight. I'd be damned if I get killed here.
Without interesting fact, you got energy and then you have you have energy and then you have um you have energy, then you have um health. If you run out of health, your unit dies. If you run out of energy, your unit takes more damage. So you have to choose between running out of energy and taking a bigger hit or running out of health and dying. So and we all know Watch, I'll show you again how it works. This guy has no energy, so he can't pray. He can't defend himself as easily, so he takes bigger hits for every attack. a little bit more injury. She received a third injury if she didn't die. I don't know if your units can die here. You pushed the Fisk after the fight. I see you got you good. I didn't even have time to notice you're getting hit by that Witchblade shard. Why did you charge anyway, you damned fool? I stopped bleeding. I'm not to be called a coward. I've never been one. They cut my thigh a bit, so what? My ass ain't hurt. I can still sit in the saddle. You can barely suppress your anger. Some damn hero you are, you dolt! Just try disobeying me again. Get someone to dress your wounds. Then head to the tower and lay low. We'll get things out here ourselves. On the bridge, you're not with a lifeless look in his eyes. You know the horrors you've seen and what you approach him. Beats you to it. And then hugs her and starts crying, nearly choking on his tears. You can't bring yourself to interrupt them. He tries to calm him down. You listen to his jump. Counts what happened in the empty village. Judging by the blood saying some were thrown into the river and he goes silent and you turn your eyes to the Minmar. So many of us are injured or dying. Damn, that fight. We, we had our butts kicked by those things. If we had archers, we could have at least kept shooting them. That was stupid of me to not include archers in that fight. of everything he went through, the lad seems to have regained his senses. Mm. They killed everyone in my village. Some were thrown into the river and others. You saw the corpse along the road. There are even people from the neighboring Hammonds. Why do these bastards do this? I don't know. It seems like they savor suffering and death. Plurge this place of the abominations and we'll kill any more that we find. <sighs> Touching the locket on his neck. My grandfather thought I was a wizard material. She even gave me her amulet. Let's me come with you, Thorn. I want to be a wizard. I want to be a warrior. That's why I joined the guards. Take the amulet, please. The amulet. Some battles are won by wizards, not swordsmen. Those weirds and magics are warriors too in a sense. Your grandmother's amulet is six encrusted. That explains a lot. Keep it. Now if you're going to be ready to fight and follow us, you can come with us. Anything else you want to say? Mm. Loyalty increased rumbling. So he opens his purse. Several magic mm. cards. How did you come by these magical cards? 
They're heavy like lead and hot to the touch, and you say you don't want to be a wizard? These cards used to be my mother's. I played with them when I was little. She said that they became hoverier. She needs to play time with other and something bad was viewing. I want to give them to you. You're my senior. You should use them. Do you even realize what this is? <laughs> What's there to realize? My grandmother said that these cards aid those who want to use magic or shield themselves from it, but have no sympathetic on their own. These cards are Cormian. Cormian themselves are said to be the descendants of these abominations. <sighs> I've heard of them. I didn't expect them to obtain power. I want to couple myself. Who could have guessed that these ancient trinkets would come in handy? <sighs> the reaping has begun, Thorn. What used to be superstition legend is manifesting with magic. You might have noticed that these items are displaying magical properties. These cards are no exception. Why are some broken? They're not broken, just incomplete. I remember the time my grandmother procured a handful of shards. She assembled the picture and the shards somehow glued themselves together. You would suggest I go everywhere looking for these shards? <sighs> it's up to you. People have always collected fragments of these cards, even though they don't know that they're true value. They use them as amulets and souvenirs. That's why many merchants sell them. Some go for items containing sixties. It's up to you, people. Always collect. What use are your cards? <sighs> I can normally deduce what card does based on the picture. They're not for wizards, remember? They're for people without special powers, so each card has a hint. Using them is as easy as pie. Close your fingers around a card and use your will to direct its power. Mm -hmm. You're useful in arguing that, but I'm more at ease with my trusty sword. You can't scatter an enemy detachment with a bunch of cards. <laughs> Who knows? I never used them myself, but it's possible that a card might trump a weapon. But remember, if you give the cards to another person, they can use them first. They can use them too. Thank you, but it's time we've left. Ah, be careful with these cards. Anyone who can use them. Sometimes it's better to use a weapon instead of standing around waiting for something magical to happen. <clears throat> be careful with these Don't tell me what to do. I have to do more than just gas. If you can cast proper spells, do it. And thank you for the plaques. I have a feeling we'll need them. <clears throat> you can count on me and make haste. There's something odd and evil in from the minerals. I wouldn't tarry here. Something... Hey, Captain, what are you standing around here? Go look at the Minar. Are you afraid to get your hands dirty or something? It's not a pretty sight. Though it looks like these fields showed the stone with... These fiends have showered the stone with human blood. I told you to lay low, didn't I? Was that too much to ask? You must know. I'm wondering if we should touch it. You see that monk below lying there? That's because it's forced him into Minar. What in the world happened, Captain? Don't you used to say that all sorcery was bullocks? Besides, these abominations are no match for the gods, that's for sure. Maybe we'll get rid of these nooses around our necks. Hey. Inherited. Wait, do you have a death wish or something? As for magic, I've seen enough crap over the last few days. What else could it be but sorcery? I have even saw a man drop dead the moment he touched the Minrar. <laughs> Not arguing what to say. I just... Saying that you could have misinterpreted something, you know. I mean, the sacred stones couldn't just stop healing people all of a sudden. They've been working for eons. <sighs> With a frown. There hasn't been a reaping in centuries. Let's not foolishly add to the death count. No touching. We've reached the Del Menor on our way to Ursus. Let's go. We're in of the danger posed by the Menor. Turns deaf ear, ignoring your shouts. You watch the tone and touch the <laughs> More pass before the guard drops <clears throat> screaming. He squirms and clutches his neck, then finally goes silent. You curse! Very stupidness and approaches his body. Lord scratches his neck like a noose. For a moment, his fate seems inversible. The poor sop had really been asking for it, but it's frustrating. Finish stare at you, and man's dead body lies at your feet. For all he wishes, he still trusted you. You have to say something. Foolish death is still a death. Didn't hide behind others. He did something with principle. He did nothing principle. This is up against your shoulder. He was like an open wound, he says quietly, always expecting fate to deliver some blow. It's his own fault. Fresk is dead. Well, that's bad. 
The morale's gone to shit. You walk to Minar and find familiar prints. There's horsemen are in eyes. However, only two horses remain at the hinge point, which means that some of the abominations left before you arrived. You think the gods were sparing you an encounter with the horrid riders twice. Time is short. Tanners could return at any moment. Can you just steal their horses? I mean, realistically speaking, you could steal their horses. You would decide against burying the bodies that lie by road. At least the fallen beside the menorah have found a common grave. You're no further business here, so you prepare to head. You notice Gilda's in deep thought. Whatever you are going to do, Dad, as you approach us, does that mean the menorahs can no longer save us? I've been surprised. The abominations won't get their hands on all the menorahs. Some are behind stockades, others inside the city and fortress walls. No need to despair yet. Too many are injured. It is injured again. Soap did something useful. <laughs> How do we suffered a lot of injuries? Our, pro our, mor our morale is low. Low morale is very bad. It seems to negatively affect your your fighting stats. As of now, I haven't seen it affect us yet. But it's getting there. So we must prepare ourselves for if we end up running out of space. I don't want her dying, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull her back. Her health has been lowered again. We need to get our party safely. In enemy territory, a campfire gives warmth, but the cold gives protection. Shadow Clan's code for warriors of peace. Year 1002 since divine retribution. Spring Equinox. Kingdom of Frisia. The city of Voden. A procession approaches the city. Hundreds, no, thousands, walk to Voden, shackled and I'm closely guarded. I'm going to guarded. log off soon, but I will give you to see this cutscene before I leave. Body got the highest rank awards, Shadow Clan, you chose the off a golden belt. It makes no difference to you. In the end, you are loyal to your clan. The streets are full of blockers, city deserters, dwellers, and villagers who assault the whole families of the festival. However, Temple Inquisitor is not inherited over a certain morning. You offer a special kind of engineering and there will be execution and torch to commemorate the spring unicorns. This time, there will be a dying number of victims. The city will drown in blood. Looks like we're playing another person's story. The commanding commanding the guardsman is a temple servant. Many in the crowd whisper his name. Na Kadurma. Count Pascoscuri approaches him, arms wide open. <laughs> Finally, you are here! 
How was the journey, your holiness? What news would you like to rest? Or begin the facilities immediately? Have you considered my request? <laughs> Present by the clenching of your sword, the count breaks into a satisfied grin. Oh, no need to fret, count. Nunkma. The third legion's already on the march. You should let fate do the work when considering the command of three legions. Other commanders might suffer from falling sickness or their tents be attacked by bandits. Do you follow me? Does the temple permit such tricks of fortune? I'm gonna pursue fate like this. Will the temple advise me? Oh, the Temple Divine Wrath only installs anger. So take my advice. <laughs> Forget about gold and Jews, but keep any six ace you find. They won't make your commander free. They won't make you commander of three leeches, but they might save your life. Do you mean your holiness? In every temple, you hear the six years the stones of the reaping. Is that your warning? How can sixties put me in command of three legions? Your Exxon. Your Exxon can bring your three legions more, especially than the servant bringing a chamber pot. Test him. If you doubt him, I like this sort of entertainment. If your bodyguard slays a dozen or two fifteen guards, I'll turn a blind eye. Yours absolutely will. Catches you like a breeze, but your inner peace is undisturbed. You're always ready for whatever happens. Mm. Lone Pang, stay here. I need to speak with His Holiness in private. Don't worry, I'll be safe in Lugor's company. Meanwhile, make sure that everything is just in order. Lone Pang, nod. This day last year, two mortars were tormented to death in the city square. This year it brings many more victims, but they look nothing like murders. That's it for today, folks. That's it for today, folks. Tune in again next time to watch me continue playing more of Ashes of... Ashes of the Gods Redemption And as we all know Be good people I'll see you again next time On Tuesday So we can play some Destiny And then on Thursday So we can play some XCOM And then on uh, no, And then on Friday We'll play another indie game And then on Saturday We'll play another a different indie game and then on sunday we'll play ashes of the gods again if i can and if not i'll move it to one of the earlier days good night folks be safe happy holidays and i hope you have a better holiday and better holiday than most and be thankful for what you have because other people don't have it Be good people. Remember that.